Well, good economic news this week uh, certainly helped the market. We have a continuation of our rally. Um, we had a small two-day pullback, uh, oh, let's see, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Remember that 200-point downturn? And that was about a 1%, not even 1.5% pullback, which really doesn't even qualify for a pullback. Uh, it's just a little bump in the road of this rally. Um, and this morning, it's you know a little bit tepid, uh, pretty much flat so far. But uh, we'll see how it goes. The market is in, still in rally mode, and you have to play the market to the upside and stay long. But uh, you know, be ready to protect yourself. Um, for those long-term investors, just forget about your account. Well, go do, go 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 uh, live your life because the market is going to probably be a pretty decent market this year. So it's something you don't need to watch every day if you're a long-term investor. If you're more of a trader, uh, then I'm telling you the market is overbought and is due for a co correction. And that correction will be actually very healthy for the market. We need one. If we if the market is is going to continue rallying, a correction corrections are normal um, occurrence during a a long term rally. We want the corrections. Um, so, you know, not ma anything major. Five to ten percent would be would be health restoring. Retail sales were up one point one percent for last month. That was a little bit better than expected. And even if you took out gasoline and autos, it's still up six tenths of percent. The reason why you take out gasoline and autos is because they're expensive items and everybody uses gasoline. So it add, the price of gasoline adds to retail sales when it's really not reflective of how healthy the retail sales sector is. So it still was healthy even if you take those things out. Inventory is up. Inflation numbers were low, well contained. Jobless claims fell to 350,000. So that area is a very good to area to continually to produce jobs. So all the news coming out on our economy was pretty good this week. Uh, news coming out of Europe was pretty benign. There wasn't anything to upset anybody. Um, no, no news really out of Asia. Uh, the, the only major worry I can see at this point, um, of course, is continuing European issues, Spain, Italy, that will that will flare flare up. But the only major issue I can see developing this year, and it seems to be uh, gaining some strength or some more worry, is the Israel-Iran situation, where Iran is still trying to build that bomb, and Israel is not going to let them just build the bomb. They're going to do something. And that could give us a pretty pretty decent correction in the market. But I actually think that if that does happen, that would be a signal to buy the stocks, buy stocks, buy the market, not sell it. We'll stay with the market.